It's time to play Should You Flush It? Lauren, tell the audience what you've got there. Well, Matt, I've got toilet paper, paper towels, flushable wipes, and some golf balls. All of these can go down the toilet, but that doesn't mean they should. Toilet paper, go for it. Paper towel, I wouldn't advise it. Golf ball, nope. But flushable wipes, theoretically yes, although reality is complicated. Stick around to find out why. Um, Matt, I didn't mean you. Hey Chemketeers, Lauren here. Flushable wipes have become increasingly popular with people who want that fresh feeling when they wipe their bottoms. At the same time, wastewater managers and homeowners have increasingly been coming across more and more clogged sewer systems that cost a lot of money to ungunk. Some cities and consumers say the trends are related and are therefore suing flushable wipes makers for false advertising. These companies say they test their products to make sure they break down under sewer-like turbulent flow conditions. And they contend that sewer clogs are more likely caused by things that aren't supposed to go down the drain. Stuff like paper towels and cooking grease, which clump together in drainage pipes to form what sewer managers are fond of calling fatbergs. True story. So what's really going on? Flushable wipes are supposed to be flushable, right? It says so on the package. The answer comes down to chemistry. Let's start with a product designed to break down once it's flushed. Toilet paper. It's made of short fibers of cellulose, a polysaccharide that comes from a variety of plant materials, including wood and cotton. The fibers in these sheets hold together well enough for you to wipe, but once they get wet, the weak hydrogen bonds holding them together begin to break and the sheets come apart. Products like paper towels, on the other hand, need to hold up when they're wet. Typically, their cellulose fibers are longer than toilet papers, and they use a glue-like chemical binder, such as an epichlorohydrin-based resin. These binders prevent products like paper towels from falling apart when flushed. Flushable wipes use fibers and binders too, but their fibers aren't always cellulose, and their binders are designed to deactivate when the wipes get flushed. In some cases, the wetting solution they're stored in is rich in positively charged ions that help the binder work. When the wipes get flushed, these ions disperse and the binders stop holding the wipes together. But remember, this is the case only for flushable wipes. Non-flushable wipes, like most baby wipes, act more like paper towels. So, flushable wipes should be flushable. However, record-setting fatbergs discovered in recent years suggest there's more to the story. Folks are still trying to flush out the real culprit. Naughty consumers flushing the wrong products, or flushable wipes that don't live up to their billing. To learn more about the feud over flushable wipes, check out the original CNN story by Jessica Morrison and other links below. Many thanks to pulp and paper expert Chris Lutkin at Georgia Tech for help with this episode. If you're hungry for more toilet talk, check out a video by our friends over at ACS Reactions about why it's okay to pee in the ocean. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share.